Warning. The following show features stunts performed under professional supervision by four professional dudes from Finland. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. No animals were heard during the filming of the dude shots. Not that well. The you first thing you got is that you, your balls are stinging. Yeah. America, here we go. We're driving to the mountains to meet with the crazy mountain man Steve to see if we would have what it takes to survive in the wilderness. All right, guys, we're all gonna die! Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's how you get lost in the wilderness. We have no idea where we are. Now, I think we're all about to die because the army has gone crazy. here in the middle of nowhere, in the wilderness, with mountain man Steve, and he's gonna teach us how to survive these rough winters of America, just like the original frontiersmen had to do back in the days. My great-great-granddaddy Kit Carson taught me well. He came to these parts and blazed these trails that we're now attempting to blaze. He's been here the past 20 years alone, just talking to the trees, so he might be a bit cuckoo. Speaking to trees, boys. If you listen to the trees, they'll tell you everything you need to know. Where do we need to do that? Here, you don't. Here's the trick. You've got to be able to understand them. It's like listening to the people from Finland, you know. What, what are you guys saying? Listen to the trees. Crazy Steve is going to teach us important survival skills so that we can become true American frontiersmen. And in the end, if we succeed, we'll earn the beaver hat, a powerful symbol of bravery and manhood. Yes. You survive all this, and we get you an American beaver hat. <laughs> and maybe some American beaver on the side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this for American beaver. This is how you collect firewood in the mountains when you gotta survive. The closest hospital is only about 100 miles away, so it's all good. <laughs> hey, don't come down without the firewood. Well, if HP don't break his neck, I guess we'll stay warm tonight. 
Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Can I start sawing? HP, that's called surviving. Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. This is not going to take that long. <laughs> yeah. Good, because we need the wood. HP, our survival is on your shoulders. Here we go. Oh. You were riding down with the brand, yeah. and then it caught up and it swung you right on your back. <laughs> okay, there's only 10 more branches necessary for a decent fire. <laughs> we have mastered our first pioneer survival skill, and we have only five more skills left to learn. So, this is how you survive a snow blizzard. It's an important survival skill here in the wilderness. Yeah, all you need to do, take off your clothes and survive. I'm sure Steve the mountain man would be really proud of us right now. He was right here and he was like, oh, it's snowing, it's a snow blizzard. I gotta get naked. And he ran into the woods. <laughs> all right, bring the blizzard. Yeah, but you do know that if you don't master the skill, we gotta make a fire and eat somebody. Start with HP. <laughs> <laughs> He's a skinny boy, I start with you. But you know, you're in a tight spot because you're all naked. And you're looking delicious. <laughs> so if you don't survive, I'll eat you. <laughs> Yucca, I'll see you at lunch. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Open your mouth, Yucca. Mouth open. anything right here but you look hot <laughs> <laughs> give me a one good reason <laughs> why are you dressed up like that <laughs> in a snow blizzard <laughs> <laughs> we've mastered two survival skills but we have much more to learn to become American frontiersmen <laughs> uh -huh. oh, we have blood <laughs> I like your techno fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's up? I was just thinking, since we're way up here in the mountains, I'd uh, go over some survival skills with you fellas. Like back in the Old West, there was a lot of pole licking, frozen and otherwise. <laughs> and uh, when, when you're engaged in that, that activity, you have to learn how to get it off if you're licking the pole. Don't, don't lick the pole if you're not going to get it off, is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you know, the pole licking thing kind of suits the team, because this is a uh, broke back mountain. Oh, yeah, keep it up, it'll be bareback mountain. <laughs> ling, ling, ling. <laughs> Let's start licking some pole. Yes. <laughs> Just in case we need the skill. For some reason, I, I kind of think that you'll be really good at this. <laughs> I don't want to touch tongue. <laughs> so keep it to your side. Are you doing it too? Yeah. All right. Looks like you're stuck. Uh -huh. uh -huh. God, I'm so tired. Uh -huh. oh, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Oh, we have blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That's just nasty. Ow. That happened to me ah. before, too. I think that's my, look, that's my oh, tongue, tongue right there. there. Look at his tongue. Oh. oh. Yeah, it was, it's just dripping blood. All right, there's a little bleeding, so uh, I have a little rubbing alcohol in my hand for the fellas to uh, help their tongue get well sooner. <laughs> so you put this on tongue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I know it hurts. It's good for you. <laughs> so there's one more part to this. In the Old West, this happened a lot. Guys would get hung up with their uh, hind end on the pole. And if you're ever in this situation, you're in a real pickle. So we need to learn how to get off the pole if we're ever in that situation. My, my friend Yarpe, he's really good at sticking his butt out. OK, great. OK, now spread your cheeks around the pole. I can spread the other one. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like the feeling. And now let's put some water on it. Ah, yeah, where's water? Here's man. water. If you're going to do it, do it now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, loop it up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't like the feeling. <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> what, 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 what? Look, look. Look at ah! It's sticking. Look at how much it's sticking. Ah! Ah! Look at that. Look oh. at that. Ah! 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 Oh, no. Oh, on no. The pole. oh, no. Is it good for my hemorrhoids? <laughs> It'll probably shrink them. <laughs> it's surprising what skills you've got to know to be able to survive the wilderness. You've graduated my class. <laughs> With honors. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes, great job. Knoxville thought we were such straight pole leakers that we passed this test with flying colors. <laughs> we want to learn all the survival skills that the American frontiersmen mastered, and that's why we have Mountain Man Steve to teach us. Yeah, because we want to get out of the wilderness, because it's damn boring. <laughs> Surviving in the wilderness has everything to do with your personal hygiene. By bathing in a freezing cold water for 10 minutes, we will strengthen our immune system and we also wash the smell away. Oh yeah, and this is the way they used to do this in America like 1800s. Right, because there was no heated water. <laughs> wash there. All right, you has somebody been me. lying to us? <laughs> so any advices like how should we do this? Rub lightly as to not take off too much of the skin. It opens it up for parasites and infection. Also, you know about the cholera. We hadn't figured out you can't poop in the water and then drink it downstream. <laughs> <laughs> See, lots of wisdom coming from Steve once again. So uh, why don't we start showering, boys? <laughs> hey, guys, remember, you got to be there for 10 minutes. I like oh. where you pick the oh. Pick the it's kind of cold. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. It's like watching women's tennis. Steve, hold for how long do we have to be here to be clean? Well, I can still smell you from here, but you're getting close. Ah! You cheesy bastard! Oh, I gotta feel my feet. Oh, I gotta feel my feet. One more minute to go. Come on, guys. Wash, wash. Get better. No, I can't feel things. I can't feel my toes anymore, guys. And uh, you're done! Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm saving the soap for you guys. You have some soap on your back. Okay. okay. Let's go. Jarno, you have some soap on your back. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, now we've learned the skill of bathing in the wilderness. The frozen pond felt like taking a warm bath. And we are closer to earning the all-American beaver hats. Back in the good old days when pioneers got lost, they had to be able to climb up a tree to take a better view of the surroundings. That's why we have an original American, Eric Rohner from Nitro Circus, to teach us how to really climb up a tree. There's only one way to find out if this is going to work or not. 
that's when HB goes. In our rules at Nitro Circus, if it's your idea, you go first. <laughs> so HB will use the hoop to grab on the tip of the tree and scout our way out of the wilderness. I want to get my American beaver hot. <laughs> All right, HB, time to rock and roll. Three, two, one. All right. You got it. You got it, now. You got it. <laughs> now to scout the way out of the wilderness. So, I think somewhere that way. <laughs> That's great. What a tree hugger. When I saw the tree on my way, I forgot to hoop it. I just grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see you teach me. Oh, how to yeah. do it properly. I don't know about teaching you. That was a pretty good effort. But since it's set up, I want to play. All right, guys. Yeah. Come on, Eric. Rocky. Woo! Oh, that's done. Have fun. You did perfect face landing. Yes. You came backwards and hit your face on the snow. For some reason, I don't wonder why you Americans get lost so easily. <laughs> <laughs> From the top of the tree, HP was able to see the way out of the wilderness. So now all we have to do is escape. Excellent job in surviving in the wilderness. And now it's time for the final battle. Nature against the Dutzes. That's a really bad choice on nature's part. Because they're going down. True. These animals are armed to the teeth, pun intended. You have disturbed their habitat. You're wearing his brother. That's not a smile. Those are fangs. It's not your brother, honestly. It's your cousin! If HP can make it past the deadly wild animals and escape the wilderness, Crazy Steve will reward us with American beaver hats. So what do you do with the wagon when the bear attacks? Wah! You just run over Wah! Oh, boom! What do you do when the crazy dog from India attacks? Crazy dog means another road kill for me. Boom! Ah! And that's how nature goes down today. Just think of the rewards at the end of the trail when we get out of the wilderness. So I'm just thinking about all those beaver hats. Let's get it on! Come on, HP! Get us back to civilization! Here we come! Scanner I've seen. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh! Yeah, brother, brother. Get your butts out from the wilderness. Yeah. How oh. did you do? You were going back first, then you turned like a cat. Yeah, I know that at some point like sky, sky, not good. Look down, roll. That was the most excellent wilderness escape move I've ever seen. Are we getting some beavers tonight? by the power invested in me by the American Mountain Man Society. I duly award the Dudsons. But here is your authentic American beaver hat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Steve. It's been a Thank you, Steve. It's been an honor surviving with you. But we're out of this wilderness. Woo! We have escaped the wilderness, and now we're going to erect a statue as a present to Steve and all of America. Hooray!
The evil empire of Canada is attacking and we gotta get ready to protect America. We do this as a team. Damn you Canadians for taking your job! Oh. 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 Let's get ready for war! Ah.